Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hey there, Twitter world. And welcome to a video. Today I thought I would update my modular synth by replacing a white wooden box with another white wooden box that's shaped like this third white wooden box here. Very cool, very, 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 very cool. This is in focus. The old box, which is this one here. Whoop! Woohoo! Uh, was a bit clumsy with the rest of the system. Especially in this room, because the room is so... Uh, so... Narrow, shallow. Because they won't even fit there, on top of each other. That's a problem, Houston. We've got ourselves a friggin' problem. So yeah, I thought I would just keep keep building the system in boxes that are the same size, because then I can stack them easily, and it's it's very nice. All right, so let's build a modular case. Enjoy the build with some riveting commentary by Lowry. Right. First I cut the wooden side panels to length. Then I put some glue on the things. And spread the glue on the things. And then I glue the things to the other thing. And screw the things to the other thing. And flip the thing. And spread some more of the good old glue. And then I drop a thing on the floor and screw some more screws. Then I take a piece of plywood and draw a nice shape on the plywood and then I cut the plywood. And put some glue on the plywood. Then I put the thing on the other thing. Ah! Then I put the thing on the other thing and the screws and screws. <laughs> then I spontaneously decide to make another box with shelves for my little speakers. I do the same things, put some glue and put some screws and put the pieces for the speaker shelves. And then I take some plywood and cut the plywood. Then I take some more wood and start building the rails for the modules. First I measure the things and then I cut the things. Then I plop the things in with some glue and put some screws in the things. Then I do the same things to the other box, put some glue and punch the thing and screw the thing. Then I take the things outside and start spray painting. Then the automatic light goes off and I wave at the automatic light. Hello light. And I spray some more. By the way, if you're spray painting in the winter time in Finland, I recommend using gloves. Because it was about 
minus 15 degrees Celsius and the paint was cold and the can was cold. So my fingers got cold. But you can also just hold your hands in warm water after painting and you're probably alive. Next I'll take the power supplies from the old case. First I take the modules out and then I take the case and the camera and screw the bus boards and power supplies out. By the way, this is Frequency Central's DIY power supply. I'll link it in the description. And these bus boards are just simple three rail Molex connector bus boards I designed and then ordered from JLC PCB. Please sponsor me, JLC. But then we need one more bus board because I want two for the wider box. So I flipped the camera to my very, very organized desk and solder some connectors to the board and we've got ourselves a bus board yay cool very cool very cool then i take some aluminum and make panels for power connectors and switches and shit And I spray paint the things as well, but I don't film it because I don't want to. And then I draw some shapes on the things and put some components on the things. And then remember the things I forgot, so I have to screw some more and put the forgotten things on the things. Then I write some words on the things and the things are ready. Wow! Then I just attach the power supplies and bus boards to the boxes and screw the panels to the rails. Then I stack the things on top of each other and, and then we're ready. Wow! Well, there you have it. Now we've got ourselves a, a freaking modular synth. Now all I gotta do is build some modules and I've got some ideas for modules I want to build and I'll be making videos about those as well. And I've also been building other other electronic music things that are coming up in the near future, maybe, probably, maybe, if I don't screw them up. Thanks for watching the video. Go and subscribe, you silly goose. Goodbye.